If you take a look at my blog at meganvwalker.com, you'll see there's a post about how to add in a message or an inbox center onto a Dynamics 365 portal. So that shows how you can create one of those little sort of notification icons at the top to say how many unread messages a user has. So this video is going to look at how you can utilize that and then also add documents to those messages in the portal and how the user can access documents. So first thing that we're going to do is we'll go into our solution and we will go to the portal message entity and this should already be activated um, for notes because when you set it up as an activity it does that automatically but if you created your portal message or if you, you're doing this um, from the start and you want to create your portal message entity just make sure that if you don't do it as an activity you do actually select to say that notes are um, enabled so that you can actually link notes to your entity. So that's the first thing that you're going to need to do. Second thing is if we go to the um, forms, so you'll need to do this for any of the forms that you created for your portal message entity, but we're going to need to make sure that the timeline has been added to the form. So if you're not sure what I'm talking about, let's just go ahead, remove that. If we go to insert, you'll only be able to add this one time you can only have a timeline on a form once we can see there we can add the timeline it's going to put it on um, on here let's just make that a bit neater and let's go ahead and open this and we are going to do a couple of things we're going to go to the web client properties I do not want the label to display on the form and also I want the default tab to be shown as notes. That's the only thing that we're going to be showing. So that's it, job done. So those are the two things that you're going to need to do on the entity to start off with. Okay, so now what we're going to need to do, let's just close out of that, is if we go into Dynamics and we're going to go to our website, Customer Self Service, we're going to go and look at the related entities and we're going to go to entity permissions. So you're going to need to make sure that you've got two entity permission records set up. The first one you've probably got already, because um, I believe this is this is a default one, but that you need to have a uh, an entity permission record for the activity pointer um, and that would be set up for scope of global. We only really need to have it as read access because that's all we're going to be letting the user do for, um, for these. So just make sure that you have that entity permission first of all. The next one is if we go back to our entity permissions we need to have one for our um, portal message notes or annotation is the actual database um, entity name so we can see here we've got portal messages attachments where the contact is a customer and we are setting that as the note or the annotation the scope is set as parent and the parent entity permission um, is portal messages and the link is between portal messages and the actual annotation themselves and again we need that to be a just a read only privilege we don't need to do anything else also just make sure that you look at the web roles and make sure that you've got it set up so that whatever web, web role you're using whether it's just the authenticated users or you've got specific ones then make sure that you have assigned a web role to that as well all right so next what we need to do um, if we go back to our website next we're going to look at the entity forms and so if we scroll down and we look at entity forms if you'd already followed through and looked at the blog post of how to create the messaging center or the inbox you should already have this entity form um, but you should have one for portal message if not like I said go to meganvwalker.com and you should be able to find that so we're going to look at that specific entity form that we've created and if we go to entity form metadata we need to make sure that we add one and the one that we're adding is basically of the type of notes. The only thing that we're going to do is put in an, a message that will display if there are no documents for that specific message. So if you think about the messages that you might be pushing out into the portal, not every single one is gonna have a document. 
So I've just put something simple. There are no documents linked to this message. So just something that indicates to the user that there isn't anything that's going to be displayed for this. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a workflow. So I'll go back to my solution and we are going to create one for notes. So what happens is in order for your notes that are basically going to be holding those document attachments, the only way that they're going to show up in the portal is if in the text of the note it has um, two asterisks and then in between it says the word web. So you've probably seen that if somebody's creating something from within the portal, um, then it will show that in um, D365, you'll be able to see that it adds that web. That's what is going to have those notes actually be, be displayed in the portal. So what we're going to do is we are going to create a workflow so that when a note is created and that note is actually attached to a portal message entity record, that will go ahead and it will update the text field and it will add in that web prefix prior to whatever um, text you actually put into that field. So that way it will immediately show up and you don't have to have the users in um, D365 type in web every single time because they're going to invariably forget and then, the, then the, um, the documents will not be displayed. So we're going to make this a real-time workflow because we want to run it automatically when someone's creating it. It's going to run when the record is created. Again, this is running on the note entity. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to check the note and see if the regarding is uh, the regarding portal message that it actually contains data. So in other words, we're making sure that this note is actually related to a portal message. If it is, then what we're going to do is we're actually using a um, solution by um, Jason Latimer. You'll find that link in the description below in the YouTube video or on the portal, um, sorry, on the blog post that I've got on meganvwalker.com. But we're going to use Jason Latimer's workflow utilities tool for notes. And what that allows us to do is basically use one of the steps that will allow us to update the text. So the note to update is going to be the, the note that we're running this against. And then the new text, we're going to put that web prefix and then we're going to populate in the description that was put on the note when it was created. So it will basically add it prior to the actual description. If you haven't put in a description, that's fine, but you'll still get that web prefix so that it will be displayed in the portal. Then what we're going to do, just because I like things to be a little bit neater and cleaner, um, we're also going to put a title and all I'm doing with the title is I'm just saying put in um, portal document just so that then if you're looking back through it um, looks, just looks a little bit cleaner and neater. That does not actually display in the portal. So from a portal perspective it doesn't really matter, I just like things to be a little bit neater. So. Then if the note that's being created is not related to a portal message, just go ahead and end the workflow. So those are our steps. All right, so now let's go ahead and actually add a portal message. So let's go to our portal messages area and we'll go ahead and add a new one and we'll link this to our contact. So we've got some documents. Lots of loud typing. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've put in my description. I'm going to go ahead and save this. You cannot put notes against the um, the record until you've saved it to start with. Okay, so now I'm coming into the timeline area. I'm going to add a note. So I'll just call this one. Actually, no, sorry. Apologies. I'm not going to call it anything because we're running the workflow that will put that in. So I just want to call this document one, or I'm putting whatever the name of that document is. Signed contract. Um, it could be um, a checklist for them, whatever it is. So I'm just uploading that document. I'm going to click on add note. And because we're doing this as a real time workflow, immediately it's populated in that title and it's put the web right before and it's appended that to where we've put document one. So that's exactly what we needed. And again, I'm not going to put anything in the title and go ahead and find the second document and go ahead and add it and we'll notice that it's done that again. So 
that workflow is going to help the user to where they don't ever need to remember to put in that web prefix um, and because we're only ever going to use this entity to actually push out messages to the portal then that's great we always want those documents if we're adding them to be displayed in the portal so if this is something that you um, have something where sometimes you wouldn't want the client to be seeing something or your users to be seeing something then don't use this portal um, portal message entity so we're fine for running this type of workflow on this type of record all right so now we'll go back into our portal I'm logged in as the lovely Whoopi Goldberg um, I'm just going to go ahead and refresh this page now and here we can see we've got our two unread documents and sorry our two unread uh, messages and there's the one that I've just created multiple documents I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open that and there we can see that we've got the text from the message and then over on the right hand side because we've added that timeline or that notes panel we can go ahead and we can see both of those again if we didn't have the word web in front of it, we would not be able to, to see these. A little bit of styling done on um, how the notes panel looks. So by default, if you um, think about if you've got the, the cases in portals or anywhere else where you've got those notes, um, you'll, you'll know that it shows the date and time that it was added and who added it, which is going to be essentially the, the name of the system administrator user. It's not technically a user in that sense. Um, so that to me is a bit messy for this specific purpose. I only need to know the date and the time potentially of the message itself, so I've got that on the message. What I'm doing is I'm using a little bit of styling, some CSS, to go ahead and hide those things. So I'm hiding the date and time that the, the document was updated and the, or the note was created. I don't need to know that it took the user 10 minutes between each document when they're actually um, adding it. That's of no relevance. So we can see here we've got a little bit of styling in terms of how some of those are going to be looking that will be available in the blog post so again meganvwalker.com you'll be able to just go ahead and copy this same um, CSS if you want to just, just use it and, and make it look the same or obviously you could make it look as pretty as you wanted to so that's it that's a way in which you can utilize the portal message um, blog post that I um, previously released and go ahead and add that and then also do a little bit extra to be able to use it to show documents at the same time hope that's helpful